All right. Hey, 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 everybody. Hope everyone is having a great day. Now, let you in a little secret. This is actually the second time we've tried to go live. So if you're listening, thank you. <laughs> and let's know if you can hear us okay. Because we have a very special guest and we have a very special topic that right before we hit live. Um, well, I guess first let me introduce you. Carmen Feist is in the house. She is our special guest. We're going to talk about the Agent Accountability Project. It's a program that she has created that has really transformed a lot of real estate agents. I guess I, I don't want to oversell it, Carmen, but in, in I mean, calling it for what it is, really transforming the careers of many real estate agents because there's a just such a need right now in the real estate space and getting started, building momentum, sustaining momentum, and really growing. So really excited to talk about the um, the project overall, or the accountability project. But before we go any further, Carmen, thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I truly am having so much fun with this. And um, I literally am just loving every minute. I love it. I love it. Well, as I was, um, you know, as we were going live and really trying to get the live stream working, <laughs> um, I, I mentioned to you something I wanted to make sure that I addressed it here publicly is that as I'm going through this myself, along with agents that have been in the industry for years and the a agents that have not been in the industry at all, I think all of us had ha have had a different breakthrough, a different epiphany in our business. For some, it, it has been all right, the importance of establishing goals for some of us has been the um, understanding of not only tracking numbers, but also just working with the results, right? So you have that improvement. Oftentimes we're told this, we're told that we're given so much advice, whether it's through blogs, through coaches, through YouTube videos like this, but we are, we just become these sponges of information, but we really fail to take action. And sometimes we just take so much information that we have that analysis paralysis and we just, we just can get confused. So at, some of us are in situations where we have the luxury of being confused for a couple months into a couple of years and be okay. But some of us don't, <laughs> some of us need the fast pass and the understanding that I need to make rent next month, the month after that, or very, very soon. So Let's jump right into it, Carmen, because this isn't a monologue. I, I feel <laughs> bad for not asking you questions as I go for five minutes. But Carmen, tell us um, really how an agent, regardless of the, where they're at, how you see an agent that is really serious about their business, again, regardless if they're brand new, regardless if they're already in production or really achieving at a high level, what's something that they should focus on right away? So I really actually designed this program specifically around that to give you the exact things that you should focus on because there's actually different ones and being able to, I think, just do certain things over and over and over and over again. Keep looking at what you're doing, improve on that, what's going well and what's not going well and get rid of what's not going well and do more of what is going well. And so... <laughs> I guess the best compliment I've had so far with this program is this program, this is what direction looks like, is what one agent told me who has been like, I don't know what to focus on. And I think that's um, what happens in our industry a lot because we have all, you know, we have all kinds of different people with all kinds of different ideas in how you can grow your business. A lot of it is focused around generating leads, but if you're already generating leads, do you need to generate more or do you need to just get better at servicing the leads that you came in, that have come in? And so I've kind of broken down the program to be able to speak to each one of those things. So you know what's working in your business and what's not working in your business and where you're going. And then as you start to move the needle forward, you can revisit and fine tune a little more and a little more and a little more. No, that's a perfect thing. And I really like, um, I really like the, that big compliment that you received. Uh, this is what direction looks like. 
It was that awesome. Is so true. <laughs> it was awesome. I was like, that is exactly, exactly why I designed this because even for Shane and I, we have not made it a point to have direction. We've had all this knowledge, all this knowledge in business, all this knowledge in real estate and haven't really taken the time to put it all into a system that we can duplicate. And so it's been such an amazing thing, not just for the people who are, who are participating in the course, but for my husband and I as well, because we're using everything that we already knew, but weren't doing. And so I think, you know, there's a huge gap in what we know and what we do and, and, you know, spending all this time and money, um, learning about all these different things and then not using them. <laughs> so uh, we're guilty and we failed in that, in that regard for a long time. And so this has made it like no more, we're not doing that anymore. This is exactly what we need to do. And, and I've spelled it out over six weeks. So each week you can focus on one more thing within your business to just get better at. And if you did that every single week of the year, I mean, imagine where your business would be in a year. A hundred percent. And something that, again, going back to what direction looks like, um, you know, when we get to that point, uh, at least admitting that there's a problem <laughs> or recognizing that, hey, my business is at X and it should be at Y. And oftentimes really where we, myself included, where we find ourselves at that epiphany moment is really when we're either doing our taxes ourselves or doing um, our taxes with our accountant. I know I fall into it, um, you know, yearly, I commit to being better next year, but you know, when it comes, comes time to submit everything, cause I'm actually, I just did that yesterday. So I followed the extension when it comes time to submitting everything, it's, um, you know, for me personally, it's. Oh, I made a little bit more than I thought I did. I should have done a little bit more to, um, well, nobody wants to pay more taxes than they should. So really I yeah. should have done better tax preparation, Yeah. but on the other side of the, uh, on the other side of the coin, like, you know, I thought I was doing a lot better than this, but as I'm looking at this bottom line, I should have done a little bit more, right. Cause it's, you know, as entrepreneurs, we control that. We yeah. Control I the also effort, think effort. we just go along with what we're doing without paying attention to really where we're going, like without having a plan. I just want to get leads coming in, right? I want leads coming in so I can make some money. Fine. Leads start coming in. You start showing up to sell or listing appointments. You start showing buyers homes and stuff like that. And you're kind of rocking and rolling. You have no idea what your business is doing. All you know is that you're engrossed in actually doing the work in the business, but not on the business. And so if you don't know where you're going, you have no direction of where you're going to be. And, and it's really about plan out. What do you need? What do you need your business to do for you? And then be able to track that throughout the year to make sure that you're hitting some of these milestones. And if you're not, if, if you're not making what you want, how can you do that? And, and I think that was one of the things that was, that you mentioned that's super important to me. I want you to know what to do to fix the problem. So if you have a specific problem, if you have so many leads coming in, but you're only closing one a month, you have a problem. You're not servicing the people that are coming to you in, in a way that works for them. And that's a hiccup in your business that you need to fix. And so what part of that do you need to fix? And we go through that very strategically in the course to say, that's where the problem is. That's what you need to fix. How can you do better? And we all probably can figure out how to do better. I mean, that all that stuff, you know, if you need more leads, you can easily figure out to, how to get more leads. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Well, going into that second, third, fourth, or fifth point that we want to cover, going into something more, um, because you mentioned something that is really near and dear my my heart when it comes to, I I believe that real estate agents, the majority, really don't have a lead problem. They have a conversion problem, right? So there's a lot of different things that can be done on on the front end, and you know one of the things that um, I hear all of the time when it comes to I have ten thousand leads, I have five thousand leads in my CRM. Okay, cool, that's awesome. When's the last time that they heard from you, right? So, and when they did hear from you, what was the messaging? 
Right. Right. So there's a lot of strategies. So talk to us a little bit about conversion strategies, something that we can take away with. Maybe we don't have any problem with striking out conversations, getting somebody's contact information. What's something that you would encourage those new agents, established agents, every agent um, known to man, what would you recommend? Just some practical tips that they can implement. So I think the biggest thing in most people's business that they don't realize, and we went super heavy into this last week and talking about sales, because if you don't know what you're selling, you cannot sell it. If we, we gave a really good example of what do you do for a living and people, you know, say I'm a realtor. Well, so are millions of other people. <laughs> like what, what do you do? What do you do to help people? Who are you, right? So you need to know it's a really super important topic that I think so many people skip over. They don't know what they're selling. They don't know who they're selling it to. And therefore they have no idea what to say to that person in order to convert that sale. And so actually we're gonna go really heavy into that this week in the course and talking more about using all those skills and being able to talk to people, who you're talking to, what you're saying, how you're saying it and why you're saying it and why they should use you is really a huge, huge part of being able to convert people. If you're saying the wrong thing to, if you're saying the right thing to the wrong person, it doesn't matter, right? You need to talk to the right people and vice versa. It doesn't matter if you're saying, if you're not saying the right thing to the right person, you're not going to convert them. And so getting really crystal clear about who you are, what you're doing, how you can help people, what their problems are, and then being able to communicate them, communicate with them in a way that just leads them naturally to the sale to make them make it impossible for them to say no. The other thing is, of course, you have to be there at the right time. You have to continue to follow up with people over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, because if you look at the sales process for you, if we, anybody who's bought a house knows that you don't just decide one day to buy a house and tomorrow you're, you know, approved and looking, it just doesn't work that way. You have, there's some sort of need that you have that would require that you move because nobody wants to move. And so getting them to the point of, like talking about making a home purchase or a home sale to the point where the transaction actually happens is so long in circum certain circumstances. It literally can be years. If you got that lead, don't drop the ball. Just follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up. That is the biggest thing that people that that people are screwing up. You can put more leads in at the top of the funnel, but if you're not getting them out the bottom because you haven't followed through, then, then you're just going to need to either spend more time or spend more money, putting more leads into the top of that funnel. No, it's such a great point. And I, I remember specifically on last, um, last week's, last week's cause we're on week four going into week four, right? right? As, yeah. as, as we're recording this, um, and the link is going to be down below if you want to join real time. Um, but also if you're watching this or when you're watching this in the future, there's going to be a link there so you can watch the recordings as well. But something that was brought up last week that really resonated with me specifically was about having a process and having a system. Now we hear that all of the time, all of the time we hear that, but what it, what really stood out to me was regardless if it's right or wrong, have one. Yeah. Right. So if you have a system that you're, this is how you're going to follow up, then keep with it, make adjustments later. Right. right. If if this is how you're going to speak in listing presentation, or these are the points that you're going to bring to the listing presentation, then keep those points. Yes. And then refine. Yeah. Because sometimes we just, I'm very notorious for this. When I would go to listing appointments, I would, I consider myself intelligent enough <laughs> and, you know, just affable enough and just, you know, I would just wing it. But at the same time, winging it is, yeah, it can work to a certain extent, but I really can't transfer this over to my real estate group, my real estate team, right? So it's there at that point, I'm creating my own bottleneck. So with with you um, just sharing and presenting the way that you did, it really crystallized it for me where whatever you're doing, if you're generating leads a certain way, well, 
that's your system. So either document uh, or repeat it, something, something that actually you can come back to again and again, if this is your strategy for conversion, that's your strategy for conversion, at least have a route because that's going to allow you to move much faster. And I think I even brought up this example of it just has, it's just going to bring you, especially newer agents, this confidence of, well, this is my process. This is the way that I do it. Either you're on board with it and we become good friends and work together or tell me no now. So we're not, um, we're not at each other's throat two weeks later, a, a month later, and really hating the, hating the, right. H- hating the journey at right. that point. And I think that's another thing that, that, um, it's a great point because you have to give people a plan and it has to be simple. Like the, if you walk through the whole step to the whole system of buying or selling a house, it's, it's not simple. It is very complicated. There's many, many, many steps within that process. But if you break it down and say, um, even the complicated process of buying a house and you say, these are the three steps to work with me. This is how these are the three steps that I'm going to take to make sure that you and I find you a house and close on it. You break it down into a very simple process. It makes people, it makes it easy for people to say yes, because they don't have to think. And that's another thing that if you're in your, in sales and you're trying to convert people, don't make them have to think because their number one goal up here is just to save energy. And if they don't have to think you've done all the work for them, it makes them, it makes it so easy for them to get in and through your funnel and out the bottom, because you've told them every step of the way, what they have to do next. And if you make it simple, it's just, it's makes it so much easier for them to say yes. A hundred percent. In some- every single thing you do, actually, I was creating a, um, the word copy for, um, a Calendly link yesterday. And it was again, very simple. This is why we're doing the call. And this is what you can expect on the call. This is what I need from you. It's very simple. One, two, three in everything, everything you do, every way you communicate, if you give people a plan, it makes it super easy for them. A hundred percent. So I like the whole, you know, don't allow them to think (laughs) In other words, you're just reducing all the friction, right? So right. we're our immediate response, as soon as we get confused, is going to be no. Right. As soon as there's some frustration, as soon as there's, if there's a possibility of us, you know, losing out, we're going to go to no. And that's you, an objection. You might be the best agent, but the automatic right. answer is no. It comes out as an objection and you're instantly on your guard now. Now you've lost me and now you have to either win me back or I'm going to walk away. And that becomes a lot harder. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. So that is awesome. Um, what's something else that you can, when it comes to real estate agents as they're, let's speak to the agents that are at a place where there's comfort, right? Let's, let's talk about the comfortable agent, the one that doesn't necessarily, that's doing well, that has made, um, has made a career out of being a real estate agent. Some years it's up, some years it's down, some years it's whatever, but at the end of the day, they have that assurance or at least false assurance that that business is going to be there next year. That business is going to be there next month. What's something that you would share with those comfortable agents, which I would consider myself in this category. So I love this question because first off, uh, good is the enemy of great. And that is such an incredible quote. And if you're good, it's because you haven't stepped up to great, honestly. And so you haven't taken the time to really analyze what it is that you could be. And so you're good. You're really settling in all honesty for what you have, because it's easy and you don't want to do the work for it, or you don't know how to do the work for it. And so really this system is built for those people too, because it really, it gives you a really good look at to what exactly is happening within your business and some super easy shifts that you can make within your business to take it to the next level without a whole lot of work. And honestly, it just is, it's focus. What are you focusing on? If, can you fine tune, can you get, you know, 20 more leads a month that turns into one more sale a month that turns into 12 more sales a year? That's huge. That's, that's huge. 
That's one simple thing out of, you know, five really strategic categories that we go into. But um, I, I believe uh, there's no reason to settle other than we just get comfortable and a little bit lazy. <laughs> No, that makes that makes a ton. I like the way that you phrased it. You know, you haven't looked. Um, you haven't taken the opportunity to look at great. Um, mm, that's interesting. That's really good. Now, something else that that resonated with me with that specific comment was, you know, we're not looking at redesigning everything. We're looking at making that incremental thing. So I think that if we're going to do a callback to a previous point that we made about having a process, having a system, having a, um, a plan. Well, when we have a plan and we, we can see it like, well, I'm going to attack this part of my business this month or today. If we're on the, on the hope train, just straight up, just winging everything. Well, at that point, you almost have to change everything. Or let me rephrase that. You don't have to change everything, but you're you're at a point where there's no there's no rhyme or reason on what you're attacking because it's um well let me get better at scripts. Well, what scripts? I just kind of whatever they say, I respond back to whatever they they want. Uh, what I think the right answer is going to be for them, as opposed to when I go in, I'm going to make these three points. I'm going to talk about price. I'm going to talk about X, Y, and Z, and then I'm going to leave. So my listing appointments are like hours <laughs> <laughs> as opposed to, as opposed to, um, you know, like, like actual top producers, those are 30 minutes at most. Right. And at that point, it's like, we're in, there's plenty of time there. There's plenty of time there. So no, that's really awesome. Carmen, I do want to be very respectful of your time. What's something else that we should that we, sh we should be on guard um, going with going into the latter part of this year and also just looking to revamp our business, regardless of when our viewers are watching this. So that's really like, <laughs> you're going to make me think for a bit. Um, I think the biggest thing is that if you're not paying attention to it, nobody's paying attention to it. And so in your business, if you're not focused on what you're doing, what your numbers look like, where your goals are and how you're, how you're reaching those goals, nobody's paying attention to it. And if you don't have a direction, of course, like how do you know where you're going? <laughs> and so I think that's for us anyways, is our biggest hang up is we just get too busy to pay attention. And we, I think as business owners in general, are guilty of that across the board. And if you're not paying attention, nobody is. And so I, I do believe that this strategy right here that I've spelled out in six different weeks is the way that you can over and over and over again, pay attention to all the details within your business to keep moving forward so that it, somebody's paying attention. I mean, literally, if you just hit each one of these six things, one time a year, you're still way better off. If you did it monthly or weekly, you're so, you're going to be in, you're going to own an entirely different, different business in a year as you do right now. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. That's just such great advice. Um, if you're not paying attention to it, no one is. Mm, you're dropping, you're dropping bombs today, Carmen. I don't know if you I don't know if you prayed before we got on the live stream or what, but you feel you, this is, I'm like, there's somebody watching over this. It's you, not you me. You called the Holy Spirit today. I can tell. Um, that's something that I'll, I'll again, I, I'd, I'd like to share personal experiences because that's where I can speak from. I know that when I made the move from corporate, if you will, um, where I was a chief operating officer of a network of compounding pharmacies back in the day. Well, I had the toughest transition into being um, an entrepreneur, being a real estate agent, because I didn't have structure. I was kind of guessing at it. And I assumed that, you know, if I'm doing things wrong, I'm going to be told that I'm doing things wrong. Well, 
nobody ever came and told me I was doing anything wrong until uh, until I looked at the bank account, right? So that right. that was the only indicator at that point. But you know, we get um we do look for the assurances in life, which are very few, far in between. In other words, they don't exist. But if we if we even if we're wrong, looking at what you want to be um what you want to track, looking at what you want your business to look at, like look at one of the as you're missing the six items, taking one of those and focusing on that. It's far oh. better than just going on the hope strategy. Just like, well, things yeah. are going to work out. Right? I have a super good example of that as I was creating this and um, like looking at for us, we just kind of have an idea, you know, without looking at our numbers and stuff. I had an idea of what I thought our average list or sale price was. I thought it was 250, which is pretty low for my area. It, I, I mean, the average sale price here is about 350. So I knew that we were low. What I didn't know that it wasn't 250, it was 188 as our average sale price, which is really low. And I don't want to be there, which means I need to change something within my business. I wasn't even paying attention to it because I don't want to do all these $188,000 properties when I could do just as much work and have twice the commission at an average sale price pretty much. And so that's just one one super simple thing that I saw in my business that is costing me tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah. And that doesn't happen unless you're looking at your business you and don't many know. of us are going pretty comatose over it. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, Carmen, thank you so much for the time today. Everyone else, please feel free to check out the link down below. You're going to be, um, you're going to see two links, one to RSVP to, um, uh, to either, if you're in time when you're watching this to participate in real time in live, so you can check out the, um, the sessions going on as they're happening. But if you're looking for the recordings down the road, depending on when you're watching this, I'll also drop the link down below and also we'll be linking up Carmen's information down below. If you want to connect with her, uh, give her a shout out. Absolutely. That would be amazing. Carmen, thanks so much. Thank you so much. Have a good day.